What's going on YouTube? Kev Ozzel back with another video. Now, I know it's been a while. It's been a while. I have, I have some personal um, stuff I had to get through in my life. You know, YouTube ain't my main thing. But I'm back. I'm always going to be back, guys. I'm always going to be back. And I know there's an update. There was an update. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. I Like, pretty much, they're getting rid of all model for weapons and core weapons. Like, we're struggling with those weapons. It's like they're pushing Vanguard. Right now, mostly... All metal weapons right now today is all Vanguard, which is it's understandable. They're, they're shoving Vanguard down our throat. Pause, but it is what it is. All right, today's video got you guys with Vargo 52 and Armor Girl. Now, what I found for the Armor Girl, I think that's how you're saying it. The Armor, I'm just called the Armor. The Armor 43 is literally a beam, guys. Like the best value that you possibly going to have. You're going to be like, wow, I got you guys something good. And of course, I'm running as a secondary, you know, SMG, whatever have you. Boom, so all um same or same attachments you would uh find your favorite uh streamer or YouTuber rocking. So recoil booster, the 315, hand stop, 60 rounds, 9 mm 60 round lengthen, polymer grip, night hard scope, wit fully loaded. All right, the stock is the first one folding and slate reflector. Now, when it comes to optics, you know, everybody got their own opinions. I like slate reflector. I don't really like iron sights on my Vanguard weapons, right? It's either going to be the G16 or the slate reflector. I mean, those, those those two of my uh, optic choices. I know everybody. Some people run like um, Iron Sights or you know the SVT for AR and stuff like that. I, I don't like it. That's just not me. Two years are on, you know. But still, if you use it, my values and depending on your attachments, if you're rocking different attachments and you're getting different results, you just have to adjust. Right? You're gonna have a different value. Right? Maybe the same web profile, but a different value. Now for the Vargo, I gotta say, I know the Vargo was also changed too. So these two got um. Bit of changes, nothing bad. These two actually got buffs, right? They both got buffs, right? Now, the Vargo 52. Now, Vargo 52, I found something that's decent. Now, I was shocked because it's the same weapon profile that I used before previously in my previous Vargo video. Um, maybe a different value this time around because they did mess with the Vargo a little bit. So, it may be a different value, but it's the same weapon profile, right? And I'm bringing it to you with knowing the barrel. I told you guys before that if you could find something better than the rest or something decent, you know, without having to throw an underbarrel for your core weapons or your monofill weapons, then you're good to go. With your core weapons, then you're good to go, all right? You can substitute the underbarrel and throw in, like, a serpent wrap, most likely, or rear grip, or if you want, like, a laser, whatever have you. Something else to benefit off of, because what's the point of rocking uh, an underbarrel, right? All of these pretty much help you with your recoil. So if you're using a stripe pack in the sense to, to make a beam for you and, and help you with the recoil, why take up a slot? You could, you know, take off the underbarrel and then throw in a rear grip. And I found this set up like this works better than actually running a special asker so i found that putting on a special asker i kept getting like crazy recoil because for some reason vargo has left recoil like it goes to the left a little bit which is a weird recoil pattern and i tried getting rid of it with like using a foregrip wasn't working special asker was working. It, still, it was still pulling to the left so when i threw on this serpent wrap it actually made it a tad bit better it didn't get rid of it because it still pulls to the left for some weird reason this this gun has like um horizontal recoil to the left but not that bad. It's not that bad at all. You can still control it. But with the Zipper Wrap, it made it a little easier. You guys are going to see. You guys can see when well, I'm during my demonstration. Group Suppressor, Task Force, Axle Arm, Zipper Wrap, and 60 rounds. All right? So, Mookie, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, 60 rounds, 60 rounds. So, a lot of you guys rock. 60 rounds is a 45. All right? I'm also trying out, you know, Serpentine, um, New Perk, New Perk, Overkill, Combat Scout, um, Semtex and Snapshot Grenade. I'm, yeah, I might mess with Snapshot. Um, because Stims, there's no way in God's Green Earth anybody right now at the update should be rocking Stims. This is pretty much like a handicap stick. You're going to stick yourself and you're going to handicap yourself pretty much, to be completely honest. All right, so I, I would either rock the Snapshot Grenade or probably like, a, probably like a stun. Yeah, probably like a stun. I don't really like Flash Grenades. I like stun. Is it a stun or Snapshot? I'll go with Snapshot Grenade. All right. For all my in-game settings, be sure to check the description down below. Don't worry, this is the first of many. I'm also going to be covering um, values and bringing you guys values for the community game pack as well. So stick stick around for that. That might be right after this. So I promise you guys, you know, I'm going to start bringing you values for um, the Zen community out there that rock with the community game packs. All right, you know, all free. All right, all free. But this armor, or this armor, ooh, this, what I found, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. There's new health and all that. Let's see what we're talking about. I fell. I would have had him because I was going to win for the melee. He's upstairs. Careful. Oh, he is. Why are you 
You're standing there. Not worth it. Yo, he just disappeared. Yo, he disintegrated. Oh, damn, the roof. They're above us. Oh, my God, bro. I'll show you guys. Bro, the value, I'm sorry, I, I had to concentrate. The values I found for the armor, bro, it's serious, bro. This thing beams, I'm telling you, this armor, and, and it's hit, and it's hitting. I'm gonna be waiting, I know people will come. Well, he went upstairs, bro. Damn, right here, right here. Oh. Okay, bro, bro. No. <laughs> good try, bro. Good try, good try, good try. All right, you guys. So here I am in the game of uh, Clash or whatever. So here we are. Same exact attachments. So you know on the barrel. I mean, try it on the barrel. It's two each on. If you like running on the barrel, you want to throw it on, throw it on. But uh, obviously, you guys have to find your own uh, values, stuff like that. But this is what I found the best I could do for the Varg, right? It's not too terrible. You saw I was able to get a few kills and stuff like that. I just use that gameplay, whatever. But, you know, it, it was easy. It was easy enough. You can still beat him with this. So check it out. It, regardless of what, it goes to the left, right? No matter what, what profile, no matter what values, it, it always, like, shoots over to the left. But check it out. You see that? Like, it just goes over, like, slightly to the left, and then it stays there. You see that? See? Like, that's not bad at all. See? There's no vertical recoil. Bit horizontal. It just goes to the left a little bit. See? It's not that bad. It goes a little over to the left. 
little over to the left. See, that's the AK sent for you. See, same web profile that I used before. It just works the best out of all of them for me. My settings, you know, and my attachments, stuff like that. So I'll shoot one more time, and then I'll swap over to the uh, to the armor. All right, so it's not always going to be like that. You know, sometimes it's going to be looking weird. The Xander Strike Pack, you know, tends to do its own thing sometimes, right? Check it out one more time. See? It just goes over to the left a little bit. I'm going to get shot here. Look, see? I mean, this time, this time will be better than that time, but it just goes over to the left a little bit. See, regardless of what, let me get some more ammo so I can show you guys. Like on the side. Like you shoot from the side real quick. How far is this? Uh, 20, shoot from the side. See? So, it just, regardless of what, it's, you're going to get that no matter what what profile. Like, I found, like, they all kind of just go to the left. Some does even some crazy stuff. They got goes around, up, down, left, right. But most of them just goes, <laughs> shoots over to, to the left. This Vargo has, like, a bit of horizontal recoil to the left. So, check it out one more time. See? See, see how initially, like, the first five bullets just goes to, straight to the left? And then it just, it's a beam after that. See? See, it goes to the left and it's a beam like that. Goes to the left and just stays there. See, goes to the left and it's a beam like that. See, just goes to the left a little bit. But still, I found this to be the best because it goes to the left a little bit. Like initially, the first couple of bullets and that's it. It stays. So that, that's still easy enough to beam somebody. It's still easy, easy enough to beam somebody. All right, so clearly you guys saw, hey, <laughs> game man did. But all right, so that's how the Vargo goes. It goes left a little bit and then it stays a beam. All right, but enough about that. I'm done with that. Oh, actually, let me show you guys the value. AK-74U on the Zen. All right. I got a 145, right? All right. Now, swapping to the armor. Look. Look at that. Beam. Literally a beam. Look at that. All right, SMG again. Look. The whole 60 rounds. That's crazy. Look at that. It's crazy, right? AK-74 weapon profile, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. XM4, that's out of 69. <laughs> 69. <laughs> All right, 69. Boom. There we go. Now, I'm going to put these both up profiles with the same exact values on the strike pack. So, you guys already know how I do. I'll be right back. All right, so let's go. Hopefully, we don't have to adjust. Hopefully. All right, let's, uh, let's do the armor first. Since I'm already here at 15, let's do the armor first. All right, let's see. Pray I don't got to adjust. Good. Good. Pretty good. Wait, let me see. I may have to adjust this a tiny bit. Can you see how it went down a little bit at the end? Let's see. Let's just see. Double check. Okay. Yep. So let's adjust. All right. On the straight pack, war zone, game pack, the way you adjust, L2, R2, up on the D pad. Let's see. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So it's going to be a different value than it was on the Zen. All right, for the armor. Got you guys, see? Yeah, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. It doesn't even move. Look at that. Nice, armor. There you go. All right. Yeah, AFK. All right. Now, let's swap, and let's see if we get the same exact result. All right? The best thing is what I'm looking for. Like I said, it's going to pull to the left, but then it stays a beam almost all the whole entire mag. So, first, you know, a couple bullets, like four, like four or five bullets is going to go straight to the left. So, let's see. Let's see. Okay, see, it does go to the left. It goes to the left quite a bit, but then and it goes straight down. So let's adjust that. Let's try to bring that up it's like that. You know, it, it just stays when it goes left a little bit. It just stays the beam. Let's see. Let's adjust that. Right? So L2, R2 up one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. I went up six times. That may be a little too much, but let's see. Actually, no, there we go. Wow, what, whoa, this is a lot better on the straight pack than it is on the Zen. Look at that. That's what that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. See? Man, the values and stuff always tend to be better in the strike pack. Like, why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Even better in community packs sometimes. All right, let's see one more time because it, 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 could, it could just be like, you know, draw the luck. One more time, let's see. Nope. 
Nope. Holy, look at that. It's a lot better on the strike pack. Why? Look at that. That's pretty good. All right, you guys, so here we are. I'm still shocked. I'm flabbergasted. I don't even use big words, but wow. Okay, so the results look a lot better on the strike pack. All right, so these are two pretty much beams on the strike pack. 130, AK set for you in strike pack. It's going to be for the Vargo. And the XM4 out of 63 in the strike pack is going to be for the armor. Over here, XM4 at 69 for the Zen. It's going to be for the armor as a beam. But AK74U out of 145 is the best I could have got it. I mean, the Zen is weird. But it, it, it does. I mean, the gun overall goes to the left a little bit. It has like a bit of horizontal recoil. But, you know, in the Zen you could clearly see it. But it goes a little bit to the left like I showed you guys. Not that much. Like a few bullets and then it just stays a beam. So I found that like to be the best result that I got. You know, with my settings and everything. So maybe you guys got different results. Maybe you guys, you know, could adjust. Maybe AK74 you might work out for you, but a different value. I don't know. Or completely different white profile. But as you can see, they work out for me. All right, boom. And the XM4 works out for me as well. All right, try these values out. Let me know in the comment section um, how you guys do. And as always, till next time.